This week, I'm joined by the eighth highest graded safety per PFF. It's Ify Malafanu. Your production over the last five weeks has been crazy, and this is your first full season at safety. How career changing has the last month been for you, Ify? It's definitely been career changing, life changing. It's a blessing. You know, each week I'm just looking forward to going out there and playing and getting better. Let's read off the last five week stats. Give me a second to rattle this off. We got two INTs, three sacks, seven passes defended, a forced fumble, three TFLs, five quarterback hits, and 26 total tackles. What switch flipped late into the season for you? I mean, I just, I feel like I just got an opportunity and I just got more comfortable at the position. And thank God I'm healthy, like I said before, and I just got the opportunity to be on the field. Your first two seasons were plagued with injuries. You keep saying you're healthy now. What was your motivation to get through all of those injuries and, and stay on the field and on the radar of these coaches? Um, I, I guess just my faith and my, my family, just them believing in me and just my belief in God and everything. Cause I, and my belief in myself, because I, I knew what I could do and it was just like excited and working towards that to finally be able to show what I can do. You switched from cornerback to safety. What was the biggest learning curve for you? I would say the biggest learning curve was the communication, the physicality, because at corner, you, you don't really have to make too many calls. You're getting the calls told to you, but at safety, you're like running the secondary. Just being in the box and, and you know tackling and hitting and everything, I guess that was, that was probably the biggest adjustment. Right now, we're going by iffy but we've had the conversation when the PA announcer at Ford Field announces your name for a play or the TV broadcast announces you, you want them to say Ifatu. And it's so your mom can hear your first name. Why is that important for her to hear that? Everyone calls me Ify, everyone in the building, everyone in college. A lot of people can't even pronounce it. So it's just important that when she's watching it, when my aunts and my uncles and my family that they, they hear my, my real name Ifatu. What has the family's reaction been to your production over the last month? They're happy for me, but they're not really surprised, to be honest. Like, we're just kind of waiting and praying for when I was healthy and when I got the opportunity to be on the field and, and make plays. Was it difficult for you to wait for this moment to come in year three? I mean, yeah, of, of course it was, to be honest. Like, I always had that thought in my head that it, it's, it, it's right there. You never know what could happen and just, keep praying, keep working, and just like stay focused because it really only takes one play. What were your conversations like with Aaron Glenn as you're on the bench or you're doing your physical therapy, trying to get back, and he's still believing in you, which he has made it known. He has not ever wavered in his belief in you. Yeah, no, honestly, that means a lot because even when I switched my position, he had all the belief in me, all the faith in me. So, you know, it means it means a lot just having your defensive coordinator through the injuries just stick by you and always having that faith in you. The next one is wild card round. Matthew Stafford and the LA Rams coming to Detroit. What was your reaction when you learned that you guys drew the Rams? I kind of knew it already. It was kind of like projected that um, since last week. I feel like it's just going to be a great experience. I was actually one of the picks that was involved in the golf trade, so I think it's, it's kind of cool. All right, well then talk, talk to us about your quarterback, Jared Goff. He was a former first round pick to these Rams, vice versa with Matthew Stafford. I, the script kind of writes itself. How epic will it be in Ford Field? Yeah, no, it's going to be crazy. I can't even imagine how loud it's going to be because all our home games are loud and now it's going to be a playoff game. So it's just going to, it's going to be exciting to run out and just look in the crowd and see how packed it is and everything. It's just going to be overall a good experience.